Hi, Brennan. Hi. Where are we today? Disney Springs. We are at Disney Springs, so we just came from Epcot. We went to the International uh, Festival of the Arts today, uh, but now we came to, oh, this is kind of cool. Uh, this entire floor of the Orange Garage is a construction zone, so this whole area is restricted. It's cool, it's weird to see absolutely nobody on this entire level. Uh, but we are at Disney Springs to watch Into the Spider-Verse. We've tried to see this movie three times here at Disney Springs, I think, mm -hmm. and we've just had no luck. But we are gonna do it today, and we're gonna have some dinner, maybe have some drinks, yeah. and I'm excited. Yeah. So we just came out of the Orange Garage right there. This is Splitsville right here, and then this is the AMC. We still have yet to see Mary Poppins Returns. We need to see a lot of movies, actually, but we have about 20 minutes. We already have our tickets. We actually came here earlier and purchased our tickets. We came to Disney Springs and then we went to Epcot and now we are back at Disney Springs to watch Spider-Verse. So we're sitting across from Haleo at the outside bar over by Splitsville checking out the menu here. They have a lot of cool stuff that we've actually never checked out before. So we probably need to come back and check this out. Brennan wanted to get a water because we've been at uh, the art festival all day and it's been very hot today comparatively to recently. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and head inside now because we're about 50 minutes away from uh, watching our movie. Are you excited to see Spider-Verse? Mm -hmm. I am too, I've heard of very good things about it. So let's go inside. Captain Marvel is coming March 8th, which that is something I'm excited about. We got our stubs right here for Spider-Verse. I think we're in theater 14, which I don't know where it is, but we'll find out. Here's a photo up for Mary Poppins. There's a couple more, like another Captain Marvel one right there. There's a Dumbo one right there and an Aquaman one. But this is uh, theater 14, so this is where we're going. All right, so we just got out of Spider-Verse. I have some thoughts. I'm sure you have some thoughts, but we're going to save them until we get back to my place. I'm not this tall. Oh, you were standing on the thing. <laughs> uh, let's go, like, check out the style store. Maybe okay. we can check out uh, the... Disney store. Shoot, what's it called? World of Disney. And then we can grab some dinner too. Okay. He just played Toto by Africa. Like Toto by Africa. <laughs> or Africa by Toto. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the style store. Alright, here we are. I heard that there were some uh, new cool things inside, so let's go see. So this is cool, heading into the weekend at like Main Street Monday, Tomorrowland Tuesday, Wonderland Wednesday, Thunder Mountain Thursday, Fantasyland Friday, Silly Symphony Saturday, and Spaceship Earth Sunday. That's that's kind of cool. I like that a lot. So right next to those are a bunch of attractions. Sweaters here. We got just general shirts. There's a Mr. Toad one right there. Got a Tiki Room one right there. Got an Orange Bird right there. And then have a bunch of attractions shirts over here. This is a Skyway to Fantasyland one. Vernon is holding one that I wish was for guys, but it's not. A great movie ride. Sure, what would you call this? Where it's kind of like, kind of cut off at the bottom? It's kind of, oh, it's like a mullet style. Really? And then on the other side is this green one. Let's see if I can pull this one around. Got a Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. This was a big one I grabbed right there. But that is so cool. I think that two of my favorites here are the Country Bear ones. We got the shirt right there. And then we have a nice sweater. I could see you wearing that sweater. Did you? <laughs> It's just so cool, everything that they have. I hope they do more of this. Mm -hmm. So that was all over there. It's kind of crowded in here, so it's kind of hard to showcase everything, but this is all the purple stuff that I'm sure is over in the world of Disney. This is the biggest new fad here at Disney. They have the purple spear jerseys being modeled by this beautiful lady with a nice purple pair of mini ears on top. Got the uh, purple bag here, and the bag has ears too. That's interesting. And then a little purple wallet. Oh, it's kind of neat. so cute. Do you like this uh, purple spirit jersey? I do. I actually really like the colors on this. Really this is what, like $65 probably? Mm -hmm. Yeah, $65 right there. Let's see, on the other side, I think they had some, uh, yeah, they have some little bottles right there too. All right, Brennan, are you ready to uh, grab some dinner somewhere? Yeah, where did you have in mind? Where did I have in mind? Oh, yeah. this is cool. Uh, I don't know, let's talk about it. And let's get back to the nice people once we find out where we want to go. Also, this bag is really cool because it's supposed to fold up into itself. Oh, that's cool. And then you zip it. 
zip it closed so that it's just this, and then you can expand it. That's really cool. Yeah. And the other side is, yeah. It's all of them. Cool. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and head on out because it is getting kind of crowded in here tonight. So off we go. All right, so right here, this is Blaze Pizza right up there. I think we are gonna go to Deluxe Burger and maybe split a burger. All right, so Vernon is going inside because we just did mobile ordering here at Deluxe Burger. This is one of the very, very few places that actually lets you do mobile ordering. So we bypassed this entire line and our order is ready right now so we can just go inside and pick it up. All right, so we are back outside right now, but we have our burger. This is the Southern Burger. Is that right, Vernon? Uh -huh. Which comes with pimento cheese on it, and what else? And a fried green tomato. And a fried green tomato. We got some fries as well, and we have a multitude of sauces here. And you want to know what's interesting is that the people that were in front of us, they are still several people away from ordering. And we just mobile ordered this, and we got it before they even ordered. Isn't that cool? Ready? So, Bernard just cut this. It's a beautiful cross section. I know it's kind of blurry. There it is. This is a beautiful sandwich. You can see that fried green tomato right there and the pimento cheese. Mm. Cheers. Mm. I said cheers, but then I didn't even cheers it. Oh, he's okay. That's really good. All right, so we are passing by the Lego store now. There's the World of Disney right there in front of us. I think there's a concert going on on the stage right over here. We're heading towards Ghirardelli. We're going to try to find Aristic Crepes, I think is the name of it. I guess we want to try a dessert that we've never had before. Something new that's been kind of not announced, but people found it out is that Ghirardelli doesn't give little chocolate squares anymore, which is really sad. It's something that everybody could always depend upon coming to Ghirardelli is you could get a little chocolate square for free. So I stand corrected, kind of, right there. She is giving away these. They aren't the Ghirardelli chocolate squares, but it is something. It's a little peppermint bark sample right here so that's cool they're still giving away something i don't know if that's a permanent thing or they're just getting rid of these after the holiday season or what so i guess they are giving away chocolate samples at least for the time being so that's really cool we're here inside the co-op store over here at DTech to check out some new phone cases that they have so i don't know which ones are particularly new but some of these have a new specialty 3d effect on them now where the characters pop out on the phone case, and I think that that is pretty cool. Ooh, I like this Toy Story one. Even got the Earful Tower back there in the background. That's actually really, really cool. I like that a lot. I spend a lot of time in Hollywood Studios and Toy Story Land just walking around because it's the newest place to be. This is cool. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Got a Splash Mountain case as well. Got some treats right there. This is cool. Here we go, these are ones that I have not seen before. So we have Alpine Adventures, that's Mickey and Minnie doing the Matterhorn. Friends in Flight, that's them riding on Dumbo. Off to Neverland, Peter Pan's Flight. That's really cool. Wow, we even got a vintage Epcot, um, I guess, case here. We got Buzzy right there. That's really cool, got a lot of old references here. This is cool, we even have some Disney wall cases. That's really cool. I like that a lot. I love the mossy wall one. Do you? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I came over here next to Brennan so we could compare, but there's a Universe of Energy one here. There's Mickey and Minnie riding Peter Pan's flights. We have Donald and Daisy riding Dumbo. Country Bear Jamboree. I like that one a lot. Got an Epcot Center right there. Soarin', Kilimanjaro Safaris, Festival of the Lion King, Expedition Everest, that's adorable. I like those snacks right there, that's kind of a fun one. And then we have some Ralph Breaks the Internet cases here. There's Cinderella with Vanellope, Jasmine with Vanellope, there's Ariel with Vanellope. That's kind of cool. That's kind of a unique one with Ralph and Vanellope there too. This is really cool. All right, Brennan, so what did we do? Cases. We did! Yay. It's about time we bought new phone cases. Yeah. This is my old Jungle Cruise one, which really served me well. I used to work at Jungle Cruise, so yeah. it was a nice phone case, but it's old. It's got, I don't know, some damage to it, I guess, after having it for so long. And this you have this, mine. like, rose gold. Yeah, this is the one that, like, they put on my phone when I bought it, and 
it, it was cool because it was rose gold and it was really pretty but like all the edges here are just so uh, flattened from holding it and like all the oils and then all the like paint up here is chipped off so yeah and you're gonna benefit from really having a bumper on your phone again yeah hopefully it fit. actually that's something that I didn't think about so the phone that I have has the curved edges over here yeah and it's really hard to fit a screen protector over it mm -hmm. because the screen protector doesn't bend with the side of it so I had to take mine off and so I'm really relying on edges around my phone to protect it off. hopefully you don't drop it butterfingers so Brendan and I came into Goopy's Candy Company, which we never come into. This is a flattery. Picture me, yes, my legs are that long. <laughs> and my neck is that chunky. Well, that's kind of weird. It's actually, oh, well, it's different from what I see than what you guys are seeing right now. That mirror was right over there. And it looks like they're preparing some uh, marshmallow sticks or cake sticks right there. And then some Rice Krispie sticks over there. There's a lot of good stuff in here, Brennan. We can't stand here for too long or else I'll probably get it, which I really shouldn't. I really want to check out this Aristocrates place. The Aristocrates? Yeah. Okay. They have this thing called a bubble waffle that I heard was really good and I want to see what it's all about. Hopefully we come back here at some point though. Look at all this candy all along the walls here in this store. These are just all jelly beans, all different colors and I guess flavors of jelly beans. I used to never like this kind of candy as a kid, like gummies and just Down like, here? like yeah, sugary, like sugars type thing. I used to never like it. I was like strictly chocolate. But like as an adult, I find myself wanting like all the, the sour gummy candies. Like okay. See, I was the opposite. I yeah. really didn't care for chocolate and I only had gummies. Still kind of the same way, even though today I had like three cups of chocolate at Epcot. That was pleasant. So that was the strolling piano over here by the Rainforest Cafe, and then this is Aristocrapes, which is where Brennan really, really wants to come to check out the menu. See anything interesting? The bubble waffle? So this is cool. They have a Ralph and Vanellope. Ralph breaks the internet. I believe a Sunday that you can get in a trophy here. And then they also have a cookie dough flight where you can get, I guess, different types of cookie dough in a flight. So that was cool, getting to see that, but look what Brennan has. She has a strawberry crepe. Mm. So this is a crepe that has strawberry no, ice cream. it's waffle. Oh, it's a waffle. Yeah, bubble waffle. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's interesting, but there's strawberry ice cream in there. Yeah. As well as, what are these, like strawberry bobas on top and some strawberries? They're more like pearls. It's just like a crunchy strawberry. Okay. And it came with vanilla ice cream, but we put strawberry ice cream in there just to have the full strawberry experience, yeah. right? Yeah, right now I'm just eating whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool, they're playing Hercules songs on the carousel over here. So we're still waiting for our co-op D-Tech uh, phone cases to be ready. They should be ready by now. They probably are, but we're enjoying our time, enjoying this crepe. I forgot to mention that we actually got one scoop of vanilla and one of strawberry in there. So we got a little bit of the best of both worlds situation going on there, right? This is really good. It's just like eating an ice cream out of a cone, but it's just like a really nice, soft, warm coat. I don't know. It's a waffle. It's really yummy. But it's a bubble waffle. Yeah, I wish I could show off the like bubble part of it more, but imagine if like a waffle was a really big bubble wrap. Yeah. Like bubbles, that's what it looks like. All right, now you gotta get down. Oh, I was like, get <laughs> No, like... Get down funky wise. So Not like, like you? Yeah. 
<laughs> you gotta get down, we got missiles incoming. All right, so we are back in the co-op store. We are finishing up this crepe, and let's show off, Brennan, what we got. Look at this. This is my new phone case right here. I got Buzz, and I got Woody here, and has a cool, like, 3D effect right there. And then Brennan got her mossy wall phone case. <laughs> that is cool. I like that a lot. I can't believe how crazy the wall photo craze has gotten. I know, there were like four other wall pictures that you could have gotten on that case too, and this one's just gonna be cool. I'm excited about this. There's the Lime Garage right there, and we're walking by, I guess, the Kingdom Hearts 3 experience. This is where the Disney Corner used to be, and right now it's a pop-up Kingdom Hearts 3 experience. Kingdom Hearts 3, I think, comes out later on at the very end of this month. So that's kind of cool. But now we are heading back to the orange garage to get to our car and finally head home. All right, so we're back on the roof of the orange garage. A little bit winded after taking those stairs. Gonna hop in my car and head back to my apartment and probably go to bed. Hey, but Roy, we were supposed to go over the movie review for Spider-Man Into the Universe. Oh, really? Were we gonna do that? I just totally forgot. It must have completely slipped my mind. Oh, well, God. I guess we should go into that review, right? Hey Farley, are you Spider-Man from another universe? I bet he is. Yeah. So, <laughs> ultimately, I guess I can go and take this off. Ultimately, I thought that that was an incredible movie. I, I liked it a lot. What I did sincerely have a struggle with was the animation style towards the beginning of the movie. There was a lot of very fast animation Flashy colors. It was very stroby. It was, and I like anticipated that going into it. And how I've kind of reacted to films like that, like in the past, is once you get through like the first twenty or so minutes, once you're kind of accustomed to that style of animation, mm -hmm. is he still down there? There he is. Uh, then it becomes so much easier, and it did become that. And I was actually kind of struggling towards the beginning of the movie myself. I got a little bit dizzy because of that. Just fast, quick paced, very colorful, glitchy almost animation. But once I was able to kind of overcome that and get into the storyline and kind of commit myself to that, it was a beautiful story. The animation was absolutely incredible and I really enjoyed getting to see it. And we saw it kind of late in the game. A lot of other people have already seen it already, but I'm glad that we at least got to see it eventually, right? I really liked it too. I thought it was a super creative idea. I liked the storyline. I took it at face value and I didn't try and dive too deep into the universe. Like I, like I said, I just took it at face value and I really liked it and I thought it was a fun movie and I thought it was super creative. And it kind of opens up theories that kind of tie in with, even though it's not, you know, canon with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, there's some theories with Infinity War and Avengers Endgame and, and all that that this movie could relate to, but it also could not completely, but I don't know, I had a good time. Once I got past the sweaty hands and- I thought you were about to like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, once I got past the, the you know, my hands kind of clam up when I get kind of in those situations where I get like dizzy or something like that. For the first time ever, my, my stomach actually got a little bit sweaty too, so I was joking. I, I know, I'm getting into it. I was joking around with Brennan that I think that's never happened to me before, so that was probably a Roy from a parallel universe kind of intertwining with this universe. I don't really know, but <laughs> I love Spider-Man. He's he's my favorite, obviously, as far as superheroes go. He's up there with Iron Man. So I'm excited to see the next slate of movies that we're getting here soon with, um, I guess, Captain Marvel first, and then Endgame, uh, and then Far From Home. That trailer just came out. So we have a lot of, a lot of fun stuff to look forward to. But thank you for coming with us on our fun little trip to Disney Springs tonight, getting to go see that movie. And have dinner and walk around and go into some stores that we've never been in together and then we got some cool phone cases that you're gonna get to see in upcoming videos as well uh and getting some dessert at a place that i've never been before either it was it was a fun night yeah and coming from uh epcot for the festival of the arts i forgot we did that today <laughs> yeah we did a lot today oh my God. <laughs> but we had a great time Ooh. and we still have a lot to see when it comes to theme parks because like I said in the Epcot video, today was the first day of a lot of fun things at Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, you name it. Uh, we need to go and check that out. But until then, have a good night, and we will see you soon. Bye.